I, I, I beg to differ, and I, mm. I'll give a different analogy to that because, first of all, you're, you're never going to say who's the greatest of all time to me. And I think that's, mm. that's more for PR and more for selling mm. stories and, and getting hype. Uh, Jack and, and Tiger never played against each other. They never played in the same tournament. They never played with the same equipment. They never played with the same, you know, length of golf course. I never played against Will Chamberlain. I never played against, you know, Jerry West. To now say that, you know, one's greater than the other is being a little bit, you know, unfair. You know, uh, I think when you can see the similarities and you understand, if you, this is one way you can judge the two. How much impact? Did each change or or evolve the game? Jack during his time when he played, or Tiger during his time. Now you know obviously Jack won more during the time he played. Tiger evolved it to where it was, you know, it crossed a lot of different boundaries where it's not just a white guy's sport. You know, the black guys, Afro American, you know, all the, the minorities play the game. And you played at a level to where mm -hmm. it generated so much interest financially that it grew the game from a financial standpoint. Now, does that constitute him being the greatest? Or does that mean he's any less than than Jack? I think is unfair. Yeah, Jack probably has he has eighteen more majors, uh, eighteen majors, and Tiger's got fourteen. And I think those are when you know that's how people are judging certain mm -hmm. things. I won six championships. Bill Russell won eleven. Does that make Bill Russell better than me and make me better than him? No, because we play at different eras. So when you try to equate who's the greatest of all time, it's an unfair parallel. It's an unfair choice. And I think, you know, those are the demons that, you know, obviously Tiger had to live with and he's going to be challenged and he's going to be graded upon that. But for me, I think they're both great. I would never say one is greater than the other. That's me, that's my opinion. Okay. I, I okay, I've been dying to ask you this forever. So for 30 years, my job has been arguing, this guy's better than that guy, this guy's better than that guy, right? Like it's Kobe and it's Michael, and it's Michael and it's LeBron, and it's, it's Magic and it's Larry, and it's Russell and it's Chamberlain. The, the, the great debates. All those debates. Yeah. As one of the people in those, as one of the people who's on the other side of that, how important is that to you, the way people perceive you relative to Michael Jordan, yeah. Larry Bird, no, LeBron James. It, it's hard for people to believe, but I really don't care. You no, know, like I, I've, I've moved on. You, you know, so like you have a career, you do the best you can with the 20 years I was very fortunate to play, and then you shelf it. You're done. You move on to the next thing. So now I'm focused on these next 20 years, and so that, those debates are entertaining. I'm sure, and you know, it's uh, fun for people to engage on those, engage in those. But for me personally, it doesn't matter. So when everyone gets into the, is LeBron better than Kobe, whatever it is, and you hear it, you can't not hear it. You have, like, no reaction. Sure. No, I think the, the best way to explain it is I, I typically do not engage in things that I cannot definitively win. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Sure. It's argument. Argue for what? There is that one moment I remember you, I don't remember exactly where it was, but someone was saying something to you in an arena, and you held up five fingers, yeah. which suggested to me that that was one of your closing arguments, right? Was, well, you got no, five it's, of it's, these, and not too many other people. People did. want to know, what do you, you know about criticism, for example. How do you deal with that? And you know, people try to downplay your career in some sh shape, form, or fashion. And I just hold up five because the most important thing that we do. You know, the goal is to win championships. This is what we're here for. I know you, and I know that you consider this not just a win for you, but for the style of basketball you play. You said earlier tonight, I heard my whole career be more like him. We know that him is, of course, Michael Jordan. This title is going to reignite all those debates. Do you see yourself at the center of that discussion, or do you think with the way you have won these titles, you have gone off on your own separate trajectory? That's, uh, that's not for me to, to, to question or wonder or debate. Um, I think that's what you, know, you guys would do. Um, we never one. do stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. You never, never do stuff like that. Never debate anything um, like that, you know, ever. For me personally, I just I have a way that I play the game. I have a way that I lead. I have a way that I challenge my guys and challenge myself. Um, but more importantly, at the end of my career, um, I just hope I made a lot of people proud uh, for the way I approach the game. And um, 
and that's all that matters to me. And, and there's going to be debates. That's what it's all about. People, uh, we call it barbershop talk. Yep. People are going to do it. So um, hopefully you just you, you do enough to, no matter which way it sway, they say, okay, I respect him no matter what. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? We'll never know. In oh. your opinion? There's so many guys that you can put in there. Um, you know, guys that have the versatility and leadership and uh, skills. I, you know, I, MJ, Magic, Russell. That's a diplomatic answer. Yourself. Okay. I was my, say. You guys are my, my Rushmore. In terms so you guys skills, are untouchable. In terms of skills, I, Larry Bird could do anything. Hmm. Oscar. Oscar was scary. Could do anything. Bill Russell just knew how to make his team win. Um, didn't have a whole lot of real flashy offensive skills. So, you know, it, it's tough. Wilt was unbelievable, man. And people won't really appreciate Wilt, you know, because his teams didn't win. But as an athlete, you know, he was incredible. And I didn't get to see George Mikan and those guys play. So how can I, you know, <laughs> we, we can't answer that question. We just, uh, I guess that's why they have sports bars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or some wings and a or few NBA moves. countdown. <laughs> and there's the conversation too about Jordan and, and LeBron. Who would you take there? How come Kobe's name is never brought up? Uh -huh. I'm just I'm, I'm just asking. Like, okay, all right, all right. No, I'm, I'm just asking. You know, that's a good point. Because I think, I think it's kind of disrespectful. <laughs> you ask me. I, I just, by the way, you and Kobe being simpatico is a great thing. I don't I'm, know what simpatico means, but it sounds good. <laughs> uh, All right, so Kobe, LeBron, and Mike. Mike. Uh, this yeah. is a sports talk no, radio I'm, show. I'm no, I'm not, I'm not in that category. No, I'm not in that category. Okay. You know what's crazy about it? I never wanted to be the best. I wanted to be the most dominant. Well, that worked. Like I, I, I worked hard enough to be dominant. I, I didn't, I didn't work hard enough to be the best. Like I never, because you know, it's like you know, like Jordan and Kobe and, and LeBron, that they got to do things I couldn't do. I wanted to be a force in the middle that that people were afraid of. So like, I don't get offended when people do not put my name in that category because that's not what I was looking for. Okay, so yeah. of the three, if you had to choose one as the greatest of all time, who did you choose? I don't like choosing because I know all the guys, but for me. I seen Mike do some things that I've never seen either other guys do. And what is that? I mean, Mike used to used to tell the opponents what he was going to do and how he was and how he was going to do it. And, you know, the way he did it, he just you know he won he won six without a dominant big man, right? Mm -hmm. And you know he he won three, left, took a year off, played golf, played baseball, uh, came back and won three more. So I mean, he was just a guy that I grew up watching. So. Sure. You know, I, I played with Kobe and played with LeBron, but uh, if I had to pick the greatest of all time, my, my all-time favorite has, has always been Dr. J. So, you know, Dr. J and guys like Magic. and uh, uh, Mike, Mike made a great point. He said, it's kind of disrespectful to say I'm the GOAT because you forget about the ones that, you know, played before us. And I kinda, I'm kind of on that same thought process. So, so, like, you know, Will and Bill Russell and guys like that, I'm... I'm just happy to be mentioned in the same name that they and are. And you deserve it.